this is Tabula Rasa, and today we're going to go over one of my recent guilty pleasures. So I discovered this show on Netflix during the 2020 COVID-19 quarantine. So why did I want to watch it? It's a superhero story, so that's great. Um, and there's not many of those that centers around women, basically like three or four, depending on how far back you go. So there's a lot of potential there for extra storytelling, to say the least, or a different sort of storytelling. Uh, and who loves female protagonists? This guy. Did I know that there was a YouTube version? Yes, I did. Uh, did I know that there was another version called the Super Best Friends Forever, abbreviated as SBFFs or the Sabuffs? Yes, I did. I actually like that one. Do I care that you know that I know about these things? No, I do not, because the only media opinion that should matter to me is my own. So let's take a closer look at this show. What is the art style like? It's simplistic, but bold, and the animation is pretty top-notch. No notable signs of choppy animations or the characters being off-model. <laughs> have to say, big kudos to the animators, especially in dealing with the action scenes too, unlike some other cartoons like uh, Steven Universe. Yeah, you can go ahead and at me on this. His character bases are off model. Yes, Rebecca Sugar is doing that whole, you know, creativity thing, but it kind of takes away from the quality, to be honest. Now, the other good thing about this is that it plays with the characters. Um, all these characters are essentially stock characters at this point. Comic book characters are pretty much stock characters, a stereotypical fictional character. We all know what a Superman type is. We all know what a Batman type is, so on and so forth. So this cartoon explores that and plays with it and makes it fun, makes it meta without being in your face meta. It's a good show and there are some things though that I am going to be nitpicky about. It's not a show breaker, but still it's something to note if you haven't seen it. One big thing that I just have an issue with is Wonder Woman. She can't fly, it's a step down. Uh, my golden standard is the Justice League cartoon series by Bruce Timm, and Wonder Woman could fly in that. Ms. Magazine didn't get Wonder Woman her powers back just so you can take away one of her powers again. Although it's a plus this time because she's not being taught by a, a kung fu guy that's Asian, and yeah, that was just a big mess. <clears throat> Another thing that... Minor, minor thing. Uh, Jessica Cruz is a Green Lantern and a Green Activist. Maybe they could have storyboarded that a little bit more who knows uh, another thing they had a secret base didn't really show off of it that much it wasn't played with I thought they could have done a little bit more overall there's a lot of setup and not really a whole lot of payoff but that could just be like in the coming seasons that's what's going to happen this show is basically what Teen Titans Go could have been right but isn't thank goodness um and that's what makes this show great it plays around with the meta stuff about the history and the lore but it doesn't make fun of the characters at its expense unlike teen titans go which is more of a parody show using these characters but doesn't really recognize these characters history so it feels like a punching down towards them it's as if it's not good enough if they wanted to make a parody show then they should have just made a parody show they didn't need to make teen titans go the parody show but who knows what those people at cartoon network are thinking the final result that i think this show deserves is probably a solid eight or nine out of ten there are some little things that could be addressed but overall it's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. Now, if you have time, and a lot of us do, watch it, it's fun. If you have kids, watch it with your kids, it's very good. Uh, if you don't, still watch it anyways. Like I said, it's interesting and fun. And if you don't like it for a superficial reason, as in the characters aren't sexy enough, or there's not enough violence and that kind of stuff, remember, it's a kid's show. And, you know, kids are the main demographics what's wrong with you wanting to see boobs and shit in a children's show this isn't my little pony yeah come at me <clears throat> it's like what's wrong with you some of them but hey but if you don't want to watch it don't watch it who's forcing you to this is tabula rasa going over one of his guilty pleasures uh if you liked it like subscribe ring the bell and remember to leave a comment because the comments are always on